What is up everybody? Ryan Clevenger aka InstaClev and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you another uncommon, no, I lied, common man's beer review. Uh, today it is going to be Dale's Pale Ale. I don't know if you can see this little guy, how good that's going to focus. But I got this little guy from a Create Your Own Six Pack, just went to Schnooks, which is kind of like a Walmart, not important. Uh, and picked this little guy out as one of the six. The reason I picked this little guy out was Dale just seemed like somebody I could drink a beer with. I just trust, I trust the Dale when it comes to beer suggestions. Um, this is called Common Man's Beer Review because if you're looking for notes, flavors, hops, barley, anything like that, not gonna give it to you. That's you're not getting that in this beer beer review. I'm using the word review pretty loosely. This is coming from a guy that drinks Bud Light, Bush Light, Keystone Light, Budweiser. Essentially, if it has anything light in the name, that's kind of more up my alley. So I'm just gonna be tasting random ass beer. I did the Bud Light Lime Orange. Bud Light Orange and it was kind of popular, so I figured I'd do something again. Um, I got a bush lie over here for a palate cleanser in my Lambda Chi Alpha Koozie, the koozie of the day. Uh, yeah, I was a frat boy. Make fun of me in the comments, whatever. I've heard it all. Now, probably like 90% of the jokes that you say about fraternity guys, I probably did something along those lines at some time, so I can't really fight it. Um, like I said, palate cleansers, I'm just going to take a little sip of this because I'm not really. I guess I picked this because Dale just seems like a guy you can trust. This is from Brevard, North Carolina. 6.5% alcohol. I do like that because I'm sure my bush light is three point pussy is what the percentage on bush light probably is. Um, Tagline on it in the back. Pack it in, pack it out. Don't know what that means. Is that like a beer drink? Beer drinkers wax on, wax off, some Mr. Miyagi shit. I couldn't tell you. Let's just fucking crack into this bad boy. Beautiful sound, one of my favorite sounds in the world. Oh, and by the way, this is not intentional. This birthday pink, pink and purple sachet, not intentional. My girlfriend threw a party, birthday party for her dog the other day. That's a real thing. I wasn't here for it, I wasn't involved, so don't judge me, it's my girlfriend shit. Um, I can already tell you, I know like, I know this ain't wine, like, I don't know if people smell their beers when they're reviewing it. Um, it just smells exactly what an IPA probably smells like. I'm not no professional, I don't even like, was it IPA, Indian Pale Ale, I'm pretty sure. Um, Fuck it, which is it's Mountain Pale Ale, uh, which so make that make make it an MPA. So Dell, Dell's Pale Ale, I don't. DPA, double penetration in the ass, I don't know. Let's just fucking. I'm not excited about this. It's just like fucking bitter and pale. I mean, maybe that's what pale else supposed to taste like. Pale? Can like can a flavor be pale? I mean, I like just bland. This is like just a real fair-skinned person with no freckles. I don't know. It says a huge, voluminously hot mother of a pet mother. M U T H A of a pale ale. <sighs> Round two. Yep, just a fucking flat tasting thing. Um, it's got me sold on the 6.5% alcohol. That's really the only thing it's got going for me. Uh, I use Mother on it, which I kind of enjoy. Dale, I'm sure you're a good dude. I'm sure you, this is good beer for somebody that likes a pale ale. Um, not for me. I don't think I want to sit here and sip this thing, so I'm going to do something real fucking stupid since it's a real beer review. I'm going to bong this whole thing. It's got about three quarters left. Uh, like I said, it's a stupid idea, but my girlfriend left a beer bong here the other day. 
Uh, I'm ridiculously full. I just ate, so. And yes, oh yes, let me focus this bitch back in. Not only is this, is this a hot pink beer bong made in the USA though, shout out to the US of A. Put that title on there. Not only is it hot pink, it's got a fucking penis on the end of it. So I'm really taking this to the top. I'm sure you can see it, like nice little shaft. Probably my girlfriend might have got it because it's about a replica of my penis. Even the pee hole size. Pretty big. You can stick a pinky in there. That's too much. You know sticking things in the never mind. So let's just fucking do this. So uh yeah, I'm getting a bong, an IPA out of a beer bong with a penis on the end. I want to get a good grasp on it when I do this. Uh, so, mom, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a low point for you and me both, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> That's Thelma, the fucking birthday girl. This fucking looks like piss, like after a night, this is what this looks like. I know you can't see, I'm not even gonna attempt to show you. But it looks like you're pissed after a night of drinking. It was just fucking yellow. Got to do the little nose trick. Get the head off of it here. Get the head where I kind of got a hold of the head down here with my index finger. It's two heads for one. This has got to be all fucking foam. I'm probably going to throw up on this fucking floor. I need to get a fucking towel. I'll be back. I'm going to get a towel. Not because I'm going to throw up. I just don't want to. I don't spit my fucking bush light. And I just realized, like walking away, somebody's gonna say like I did something to this, like took some of it out. Oh, he's coming up. It fucking smells like piss. Looks and smells like piss. That might be one of the fucking dogs. There's so much head on this. I guess if I wasn't such a fucking idiot, I would have expected this. I don't even know where it fucking ends and begins. And I honestly, also haven't done a beer bong in years that's probably safe to say years um i've never definitely never bonged a fucking pill out so <sighs> oh that was in fact <coughs> a horrible idea <coughs> It's actually more of a burp than I could throw up, but I definitely burped up in my mouth a little bit there. Um, so the review of Dell's Pale Ale, it's not for me. Maybe it's not for you. It is 6.5% alcohol, so it is two bush lights. But I'd much rather drink two fucking bush lights all day, every day. Um, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. You know that ordeal. Also below the link below, I'll link my podcast that me and my buddy Ace do. Um, it's on iTunes, SoundCloud, Legend Co. Here, check it out. Thank you. See you. Have a good day. Have a beer on me. Namaste. That's all I got. <sighs> that was fucking piss.